Hey, welcome back, it's Jason Wolter here. In today's video, I'm gonna take a deep dive into new home construction numbers in the US. This is because um, at the time of this video, which is the 19th of July, the US Census Bureau just announced new home construction numbers for June. So I'm gonna take a deep dive into this and share all the latest trends with you guys. If you guys enjoy this video, then of course, please hit the like button, I really appreciate that. Also consider subscribing as well. I post the latest housing market updates so you guys can make more informed decision about what's really going on in our housing market and also whether or not you should be buying or selling a house. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive right into the video here. So here's what we know um, right now, and they're gonna be sharing uh, the report from the US Census Bureau here in just a little bit. So here's what the street is expecting for new home construction numbers on a month to month basis. They're predicting that building permits are gonna be down overall by 2.7%, total housing starts, which include single family and of course, multifamily properties. Uh, they're calling for that to increase by 1.4% and the uh, seasonally adjusted annualized rate is gonna be 1.57 million uh, total housing starts in June, 2022. So that's what the street is expecting. Here's what we also know right now, because uh, lumber futures prices um, have been going down. So year to date, lumber future prices are down about 45% also compared to one year ago, they're actually up slightly, up 19%. But compared to uh, the peak, which is basically in uh, May 2021, we're far below uh, the current levels. So in May 2021, we almost surpassed $1,700, and now we're down to $641 uh, for lumber futures prices. Therefore, because the lumber futures prices have gone down dramatically since May uh, 2021, one would assume that builders are paying less for the lumber right now, which would incentivize them to build more houses. But that's just one piece of the puzzle though, because here's the latest report uh, from the National Association of Home Builders, or the NAHB. Builder confidence plunged in July as high inflation and increased interest rates stalled the housing market by dramatically slowing sales and buyer traffic. It says here this is a further sign of a weakening in our housing market. Builder confidence in the market for newly built single family houses posted its seventh straight monthly decline in July. And by the way, this marks the lowest reading uh, since June 2022. It's also the largest single month drop in the history of, of this index here, except for uh, the drop we had back in uh, April 2020 when we had state home orders. And by the way, this is pretty significant because this um, index here has been going around for at least 35 years. So this is the largest single month drop in the history of this index. And according to this report here, housing affordability is the greatest challenge facing the housing market. I 100% agree with him regarding this because um, housing affordability is at very low levels right now. Production bottlenecks, rising home building costs, and high inflation are causing many builders to halt construction because the cost of land, construction, and financing exceeds the appraised value of the house. This is pretty eye-opening here because they're basically saying here that the cost in order to build houses right now is exceeding the value of the house after it's built. Therefore, it makes sense that builders are halting production right now. And it says here, in another sign of a softening market, 13% of builders of this uh, survey here reported reducing home prices in the past month to bolster sales and or limit cancellations. This is a key stat here because the last thing builders want to do is lower home prices because if they do that, that's going to lower uh, future home prices uh, for houses they're going to be constructing. Uh, so that's the last thing that builders want to do. They would much rather give buyers incentives in order to buy houses right now rather than reducing prices. And by the way, this is a monthly survey that the National Association of Home Builders does, and they have been conducting this for more than 35 years. Uh, and this survey here basically gauges builders' perceptions of current single-family home sales and sales expectations in the next six months. And according to uh, this uh, survey or the response to the survey here, uh, current sales conditions dropped, sales expectations in the next six months declined, and traffic of prospective buyers fell. All right, to summarize this, we have the biggest drop in builder confidence uh, of all time, a 35 year uh, plus of history here, uh, except for uh, the uh, month of April, 2020. And this is because uh, of affordability challenges and all these other issues that home builders are facing right now, despite the fact that lumber futures prices are down about 45%. So with that said, Let's have a look at the latest report from the US Census Bureau that was just announced this morning at the time of this video here. Again, this is for new uh, residential construction um, as of June, 2022. 
And by the way, I have not read this report yet, so I thought it'd be fun to look at this in real time uh, according to the U.S. Census Bureau here. So let's go ahead and dive right in and take a look at the findings here. And again, we want to look at expectations on a month-to-month -month basis. Uh, building permits, they were expected to decrease by 2.7%. And here's uh, total building permits pulled. So looking at this uh, on a month-to-month -month basis, only decreased by 0.6%. So 0.6%, the street was expecting it to go down uh, by, what was it, 2.7%. So uh, building permits did not decrease uh, at the uh, same levels that the street was expecting. So actually decreased a little bit less. But what is the reason for that? Let's have a look at this. Again, these are in, uh, thousands of units, by the way, and these are seasonally adjusted annualized rates, by the way. So here's the US. This is what we want to look at, obviously. Uh, total building permits uh, decreased by 0.6% uh, from one month ago and decreased or actually increased by 1.4% uh, from one year ago. But let's have a look at how uh, single family compared to multifamily. So for single family units, uh, these are for obviously for home buyers. Look at this, decreased by 8% on a month to month basis and decreased by 11.4% on a year to year basis. This is pretty remarkable because what we're seeing right now, and this has been the trend over the past few months has been important to you guys, we're seeing a fewer um, permits pulled for single family houses. In other words, you know, home builders really backing off on building single family houses and building multifamily instead. So let's have a look at that. So look at this, five units or more. And by the way, um, these are basically apartment buildings in order to rent out. Approximately, uh, historically speaking, over the past couple of quarters, uh, the uh, five units or more are for apartment buildings to rent out. Not so much regarding you know, residential um, uh, houses or residential um, properties that they plan to sell. So the vast majority of these are for apartment buildings to rent out. So five units or more, look at that, wow. So uh, up 13% on a month to month basis and increasing by almost 28% uh, from a year ago. So this month to month decrease of 0.6% uh, is really from um, single family houses and not so much regarding multifamily properties of five units or more. Interesting to see that. Look at that. I mean, it's builders are obviously ramping up construction uh, to build um, apartment buildings and not so much regarding uh, single family houses. And this, of course, is because uh, building single family houses is really tied directly to um, mortgage rates. When mortgage rates increase greatly, that decreases home buying demand. And of course, that decreases um, buyer interest into single family houses or new single family houses. So that's what we're seeing for uh, permits pulled. Pretty interesting to see that. And also year to date. So year to date, we're actually up 2.2% uh, for total um, building permits, but we're actually down 4.4% for single family. And look at this, up 17.1% uh, for five units or more. What I'm also noticing regarding a single family houses here for um, permits pulled, look at this. The Northeast decreased by 15%. The Midwest decreased by almost uh, 10%. If I can get my highlighter to work here. And then also in the South decreasing by 5% and the West decreasing by 13%. So every single uh, region here, they break it down by four regions here, of course, uh, decrease on a month to month basis. And on a year over year basis, also decrease as well. Every single region uh, decrease for um, permits pulled for single family houses. So the seasonally adjusted annualized rate uh, for single family is 967,000 uh, units uh, for permits that are actually pulled. But look at the uh, differences here over, the, uh, over this year though. Let's actually look at uh, Fred's graph, Uncle Fred here. So over the last 12 months, uh, permits pulled for single family houses uh, peaked in February 2022 when there was approximately 1.2 million uh, permits pulled for single family units. But ever since then has been decreasing and has been decreasing greatly uh, this month. A decrease from um, just over 1 million, now we're down to 967,000. So it has decreased for one, two, three, four consecutive months right now. So as of June of this year, we have approximately 967,000 um, permits pulled but let's have a look at the past uh, few years, the past five years, really. So 967,000, this is the lowest levels since June 2020. Something I noticed though, even though this is the lowest levels since June 2020, uh, current levels right now of 967,000 is higher than any other month going back to July 2017 to uh, December 2019. And going back 10 years on Uncle Fred's website here, besides 2020 and 2021, we're at the highest levels in the last 10 years. 
Okay, let's go back to the U.S. Census Bureau's report here uh, for June. So this is permits pulled. We already talked about that. Let's talk about uh, units authorized but not yet started. So these are basically when a builder uh, gets permission to build houses, but they opted not to start construction. So that has increased, look at that, wow, 15.9% on a year-over-year -year basis, but single family actually decreased on a month-to-month -month and also compared to a year ago. Uh, but look at this, wow, 42.6% is the uh, a huge number. Wow, on a year-to-year -year basis for five units or more, that has increased by 42.6%. So it appears based on these stats here that builders are really putting the brakes on constructing uh, new houses right now. And this is for multifamily and also for single family as well. Okay, so that was units authorized but not yet started. Let's have a look at housing starts. This is probably the most important metric or most followed metric uh, in this report here. Uh, these are units um, started or housing starts and again, these are in thousands of units and these are seasonally adjusted annualized rates. So let's have a look at this. Again, I have not even looked at this yet. So total uh, units, uh, total housing starts, uh, actually decreased by 2% from a month ago and decreased by 6.3% from a year ago. So total housing starts decrease on a month to month and also on a yearly basis as well. And the current annualized rate is 1.559 million. And going back to our estimate here, uh, the estimate was calling for 1.57. So we have slightly more um, housing starts on, on the analyzed rate right now. And the forecast was calling for a 1.4% increase of total housing starts, but it actually decreased by 2%. So that's a big miss uh, moving in the opposite direction. The street was calling for um, total housing starts to increase and actually decrease by 2%. So let's find out where that's coming from. So one unit, um, single family houses. Wow, look at that. Wow, oh, that's crazy. So 8.1% decrease uh, compared to uh, uh, May 2022 and decreasing by almost 16% uh, from last year. That's for single family houses. That really affects home buyers, right? If builders were ramping up construction of single family houses right now, that could potentially create a surplus of houses down the road, you know, six to 12 months later when the house is completed. However, though, builders are putting the brakes on building new single family houses. Uh, down 8% on a month to month basis and a big decrease uh, from a year ago. So let's have a look at, wow, look at this. So uh, five units or more, again, the vast majority of these, approximately 90% are apartment buildings in order to rent out. So builders right now, again, are still clearly focused on building uh, houses or apartments to rent out. Look at that, month to month increase of 15% uh, compared to uh, June 2021, increasing by 16.4%. So again, just like permits pulled, total um, uh, housing starts are decreasing because a giant decrease of housing starts for single family. And looking at this here too, um, the, for June 2022, uh, the seasonally adjusted analyzed rate for single family housing starts is under 1 million. This is the first time uh, since at least June 2021 because every single month over the past 12 months, we've had more than 1 million housing starts uh, for single family. So let's have a look at Uncle Fred's website here. Here's um, housing starts for single family units. Again, we have uh, 982,000, uh, that's it right here, 982,000, and that has been decreasing for one, two, three, four consecutive months again uh, for single family housing starts. And let's have a look over the past five years as well. So right now, the level's at 982, the lowest levels since June 2020, just like uh, permits pulled. Um, however, though, take a look at this because I imagine over the past 10 years, uh, far higher than um, pre-COVID levels. 982 is higher than any other month uh, since uh, November 2019, uh, going back to uh, June 2012. And let's have a look at this ever since 2004. Again, these are housing starts for single family houses. So 982,000 is the current um, seasonally adjusted annualized rate, the highest rate since 982, 982, the highest rate since July 2007. So in other words, even though we're seeing this a decrease uh, compared to the past couple of years, uh, current levels right now are far higher over the past 10 years really, uh, and the highest levels since 2007. But going back to this original report here, um, total housing starts for single family has been declining ever since March. So this is an important trend to follow because if this continues to decrease, we're gonna be seeing fewer and fewer uh, single family houses being built. 
And speaking of that, here's the year-to-date change. So total housing starts um, increased by 5.9% so far this year. But look at this, only increased by 0.2% uh, for single family. Wow, look at this, increasing by 29.5%. If I get my highlighter, it would work there. Yeah, 29.5% increase for two to four units and then almost 20% for five units or more. And this, uh, this again is a year-to-date percent change. What's also very interesting as well is that how each of the regions fare because uh, take a look at the year-to-date uh, change. Again, I'm more focused on um, uh, one unit, which is a single family house, uh, down in 27.7% in the Northeast, the Midwest decreasing by 2.4%, the South increasing by 4.8%, uh, and then the West decreasing by 1.7%. So only the South has a year-to-date uh, increase of housing starts for single-family houses. I mean, a giant difference when you compare the uh, almost 28% decrease in the Northeast. All right, changing gears slightly, let's talk about the number of units under construction and also the number of units that have been completed as well. So the units under construction, let's take a look at this. Again, I have not looked at this already. Total units under construction, again, again these are season adjusted uh, rates. So for total housing units under construction, it's basically 1.68 million. That's an increase by only 0.3% uh, from May 2022, but a big increase uh, compared to a year ago, so 22.4% uh, increase. But again, where do these increases come from? So units under construction, wow, look at this. So actually decreased only slightly for a single family, but it increased 21% uh, from a year ago. And five units or more increased by 24% uh, from one year ago, and only increased by 1% from last month. What's also interesting to note here uh, regarding this is that um, total housing units under construction, again, 1.68 million. Uh, looking back over the past 12 months, this is the highest levels in at least 12 months. Uh, for single family, it has been decreasing uh, ever since uh, May of this year, so a declining trend. And then for uh, five units or more, also the highest levels since the last 12 months as well. So let's have a look at Uncle Fred's website here. Again, the source here is HUD or the U.S. Census Bureau. And again, these are um, housing units under construction uh, for single family. So let's look at single family. Right now, again, 824,000 has decreased for the second consecutive uh, month, uh, basically flat over the past couple of months though. So let's look at this uh, 824,000. Uh, 824, wow, look at that. So units under construction, wow, that's crazy. So back in May 2020, we only had 511,000 houses or single family houses under construction, and now we have 824,000. One of the reasons for this is because um, it takes longer to build houses right now. It takes approximately six to 12 months to build houses. And so every month that goes by, if you have more and more houses under construction, this number is gonna continue to increase. So that's one reason why we're seeing this number being, being so much more elevated compared to pre-COVID levels. Because let's have a look at the past 10 years. I mean, wow, look at that. So 827,000, right, or 824,000. Uh, back in January 2020, only 525,000. So far more than pre-COVID levels. And let's look at, um, compared to uh, the bubble. It's a bubble in 2007-ish. Let's take a look at that. So um, 827,000 right now, the highest levels since October 2006. So right now we have approximately the same number of houses under construction as we did back in October of 2006. Something also you should be aware of is that the vast majority of these houses under construction, 824,000 houses under construction, the vast majority of these are already under contract with the home buyer. So if you, you get your offer accepted when it's a dirt lot and they build your house, then these houses that are under construction are already under contract with the home buyer. But as I mentioned in my previous videos, uh, cancellation rates have been increasing. So what we're seeing right now is that buyers are either to, uh, deciding to back out about buying a new house or they're being forced to do that because of rising mortgage rates and they can no longer afford to pay for the mortgage or their future mortgage of their house. But I would imagine that the vast majority of these houses under construction are under contract with the home buyer. But I'll definitely keep you posted regarding that because the US Census Bureau is gonna announce in about a week regarding new home sale numbers here. And I'll definitely keep you posted regarding that because I'm gonna be taking a look at um, how many houses are under construction that have not yet sold. And I'll definitely keep you posted regarding that. All right, let's go back to the U.S. Census Bureau's report here. Uh, so this is the units under construction we just talked about. Let's talk about uh, units completed. So units completed um, as of June 2022. 
So take a look at this. So total housing units I completed uh, actually decreased by 4.6% on a month to month basis, but increased by 4.6% uh, compared to a year ago. But look at the differences here because for a uh, single family houses here, uh, the units completed actually decrease from a month ago, but actually increase by 8.5% uh, from June 2021. And for five units or more, uh, decrease both on a month to month basis and decrease on a year over year basis as well uh, for five units or more. Let's have a look at uh, year to date percent changes though. So the year to date percent change, which is right here, uh, for units completed actually decreased by 0.6% when looking at multifamily plus single family. Uh, for single family, increased by 3.7%. Wow, look at this though. For two to four units, increased by 55.9%, but for five units or more, uh, decreased by almost 13%. So that was a lot of info to share in today's video. So I actually wanna share a summary that actually took some time to uh, make just now. So here uh, is the uh, summary of today's video here. Uh, again, this is for June 2022 uh, for new home construction. Uh, single family um, home construction is weakening amid affordability challenges, of course, and of course, due to rising mortgage rates and further declines are expected in the months ahead uh, because of these challenges here. Uh, on top of that, uh, single family housing starts and also total housing starts um, are down despite lumber future prices decreasing by 45% uh, year to date. On top of that, builder confidence for newly built single family houses posted its seventh consecutive monthly decline in July. And this is also the largest monthly dip on record going back 35 years, except for uh, April 2020. And what we also saw is that single family um, permits pulled and also single family housing starts are down from last month as well as from one year ago. Uh, we still have higher levels right now though compared to pre-COVID and builders are obviously more focused on building multifamily properties uh, over the past several months instead of building single family houses. Also, the total number of single family houses under construction is up 21% year over year. Uh, besides April and May of 2022, this is the highest levels since October 2006. But approximately 50 to 70% of these houses uh, under construction are under contract with a home buyer already. And we also have high levels of units under construction right now uh, due to delays in construction. And by the way, uh, this number here, uh, 50 to 70%, it's just my estimate. Uh, back in May 2022, the number was 70%. So out of all the houses under construction or single family houses under construction um, as of May 2022, approximately 70% were already sold to a home buyer. So I'll definitely keep you posted regarding that again because the US Census Bureau is gonna be reporting that number in a couple of weeks here. So I'll make a separate video regarding that. So what's your biggest takeaway from today's video? I hope you guys got a lot of value in today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and greatly appreciate that. I hope you guys have an awesome day and look forward to seeing you on the next video.